Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Do It Yourself From House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be joining in a super fun challenge. It's the Try It Tuesday Challenge and it's hosted by Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs. So I'll be sure to leave the link to her channel as well as the playlist in my description box and let's get to it. Alrighty, our first DIY today was inspired by the amazing Sammy. She made these adorable little three mini planters using some little boxes from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off by painting three of these little wooden boxes using some black folk art chalk paint. Next, I'm going to take some white Waverly chalk paint on a chippy brush to distress the edges a bit. And then I'm going to paint several wooden beads using this metallic gold by Folk Art. And then I use my Silic Cameo 4 to print out three little decals that say bless our nest onto some white vinyl and I'll just add it to the center of each box. And here's how our little boxes are looking now. Next I'm going to go in with my hot glue gun and I'm going to add our little beads to the bottom of each box. And now that we have the feet on the bottom of each little planter, I'm going to go in with some little greenery picks. I believe these were originally from Hobby Lobby and I'll just add a few inside. And that'll be it for our first DIY. What do you guys think? For our next project today, I'm going to be using this hello sign from the Dollar Tree and I was inspired by Sammy by Unicorn Dust Design. She made this beautiful hello sign and I'm going to start off by painting the bottom of our wood round using some black folk art chalk paint and I added a piece of masking tape at the top. Next, we'll carefully remove that masking tape and reapply it right above the black paint. And then I'm going to fill in the top half using some white folk art chalk paint. Next, I'm also going to fill in the word hello using our white folk art chalk paint. And then I'm going to go in with a chippy brush to distress the edges. Next, I made this cute bow using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, and I'm going to add another bow on top using this buffalo check ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and tied it in the center using some jute twine, and I love to dovetail the edges of my bow. And then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add it on top of our burlap bow. And last but not least, we'll use my hot glue gun to add our bow to the top of our sign. And that'll be it for this beautiful Hello Sign DIY. What do you guys think? And if you guys are new here, I always leave the links to my social media down below in my description box with links to my Instagram, my TikTok, my blog, and my Etsy shop. And on my Etsy shop, you'll find some beautiful tiered tray decor as well as personalized makeup bags, keychains, and much more. So don't forget to check out those links below. Alrighty, and back to our next DIY today, I'm going to be using this wooden pizza board by Woodpecker's Crafts. And I'm going to start off by painting it using some black folk art chalk paint. And then I do add a piece of painter's tape in the center as we're going to be staining the center area. And back when I first started crafting, I remember Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs was the very first YouTuber I ever saw using painter's tape on the center of her welcome signs and boards. And I always thought it was so, so beautiful. Next, I'm going to add some more painter's tape to give us a straight line along the sides, and I'm going to fill in the center using some wood stain by Folk Art. And once we carefully remove that painter's tape, I'm going to go in with this beautiful Dollar Tree stencil that says Farmer's Market Local Fresh. And I'm going to fill in using some white folk art chalk paint and I just used some painter's tape on the sides to secure it. Next, I made a cute little burlap bow using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, and I'll dovetail the edges. And this time, I left a piece of the jute twine on the back so that I can tie it to the top of our cutting board. And then I can also change it out for different seasons. 
And then I use my hot glue gun to add a piece of this little buffalo check ribbon from Dollar Tree to the center of our bow, and then I'll go ahead and tie it to the top of our board. And with that last little finishing touch, that'll be it for this beautiful farmhouse farmer's market cutting board sign DIY. I think it came out so cute. For our next DIY today, I'm going to be using this cute little chicken sign to match our DIYs today. And I'm going to start off by painting the bottom little stand using some metallic gold by Folk Art. And I love when crafters make things double sided, so I'm going to go ahead and paint the other side using some black Folk Art chalk paint. Now that we have both sides painted, I'm going to go in with my chippy brush and some white Waverly chalk paint to distress both sides. And then on one side, I'm going to add this cute little blessed stencil, and on the other, I'm going to add this one that says love. And they're from this folk art stencil set, and I'm going to fill them in using some white folk art chalk paint. And now that they're all dry, on the side with the blessed stencil, I'm going to make a cute little jute twine bow using some Dollar Tree jute twine, and I'm just going to tie it in the center and then use my hot glue gun to add it to the top of the sign. And last but not least, I'm going to add a cute little pearl sticker to the center of this bow, and here we have a two-sided little chicken sign DIY. Alrighty, for our last DIY today, I'm going to be using this little house sign from the Dollar Tree. And I was inspired by this adorable house sign from Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs. And I'm going to be using this little garland from Hobby Lobby to create a teeny tiny little mini wreath for the top of our sign. So I went ahead and cut a piece and I'm just going to take the garland and wrap it around each other so that it stays together. And then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add it to the top of our sign. And then I had these little greenery picks. I believe they were also from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to take the little white flowers and add them onto the wreath. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add another stencil from this folk art set that says gather in a little patterned one right underneath using some white folk art chalk paint. And that'll be it for today's inspired farmhouse DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. And stay tuned for my subscriber giveaway announcement. So happy to announce my 5,000 now 6,000 subscriber milestone and I just want to thank you guys so so much for all of your love and support it means so much to me and in honor of this milestone I'm going to be doing a super fun giveaway where I give away some beautiful customized items from my Etsy shop so if you'd like to enter be sure to leave a comment below and I'll leave the instructions in my description box as well and we'll see you soon Thank you so much for watching today's episode, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, as well as that little notification bell to be notified when I release new content. And I'll be sure to leave the links to my Etsy shop, as well as my social media, in my description box. And we'll see you next time.